In this video, we will see creep test and we will also see what are the stages in creep failure. So we have seen that creep is nothing but a time dependent failure that happens at an elevated temperature under constant loading. So for doing the creep test, we have to create similar conditions and we have to test the material for creep failure. Here in this image, we will see a setup which has a constant loading mechanism. Also, it has a chamber where you can put in the material and we can turn on the temperature and keep the material at an elevated temperature. So on one side we have a beam that is having a load on one side and the material is under constant tension. Also this material is connected to a strain gauge. So constantly the material has been observed for any changes in the shape and size of the material. So when we do the creep test, the deformation or the strain is measured and it is plotted against the function of elapsed time. So there are three stages for creep failure or we can say that there are three stages for doing the creep test. The first one is the primary stage, the second one is the secondary stage and the third one is the tertiary stage where the material fails or ruptures. So as soon as you load the material, there is an instantaneous deformation that is incident on the material and this is an elastic deformation. The moment you release the load, the material goes back to the original shape. Beyond this elastic limit, the material will go through the first stage which is called as the primary stage of creep. These three stages will have their own strain time feature. The first stage is primary creep or transient creep. Here the slope of the curve is decreasing continuously with respect to time. So we can make out that the material is work hardening or strain hardening. As the time progresses, the material becomes more and more work hardened. It becomes more and more stronger and further deformation becomes difficult. That is why the slope of this creep is decreasing continuously. The main mechanism during this creep stage is dislocation climb. The dislocations are climbing and they are moving away from the obstacle which contributes to the deformation of material. Eventually what will happen is the rate of the dislocations which are moving will equal to the dislocations which are getting blocked by different types of imperfection. This will give rise to the second stage of creep. The second stage of creep is the secondary stage or it is also known as steady state creep. Here the rate or the creep rate is constant throughout and this is the longest stage of the creep. The creep rate is constant because there is some competing processes that are going on. So the strain hardening is happening and then immediately that strain hardening is recovered because of the recovery process. Remember creep is happening at an elevated temperature and recovery also happens at some elevated temperature. So because we know that there is some temperature which is related to creep failure, the strain hardening is happening and that strain hardening is nullified by recovery method. As we know in recovery the material becomes more softer and further deformation of the material is possible. The third stage is the tertiary stage or tertiary creep where the rate of creep is accelerated at a very high rate and here the material experiences failure. This happens because of the microstructural and metallurgical changes in the material. These changes are possible because of grain boundary separation or the formation of internal crack cavities or voids. Necking may also be observed where the cross-sectional area of the material decreases and the strain rate increases. So what is the most important parameter how we can protect the material from creep failure? So the most important parameter is the slope of the secondary stage and this is also known as a steady state creep. So the strain rate is constant at a given temperature and stress. Now how should we calculate the strain rate? There is a formula for that which is K2 sigma raised to n exponential Q upon RT where K2 is a material constant, sigma is the applied stress Q is the activation energy, R and T are the constant, R is the gas constant, T is the absolute temperature of the material. So by this formula we can calculate the strain rate of the material and with the help of this strain rate we can easily tell what will be the strain rate of the material after which the material is bound to fail. Strain rate is the design parameter that is considered for the long application material such as the power plant for example. 
so here we know that material will not fail very easily it will go on for decades so we give the strain rate of such materials or such application in terms of the strain rate there is one more important parameter we use this when the life of the material is shorter as compared to the earlier version like a nuclear power plant so here like turbine motors and turbine blades and aircraft and rocket nozzles and motors so here we give the failure of the material in terms of the rupture timing so the rupture timing is given by k sigma raised to m exponential q over rt and again here k and m are the material constant q is the activation energy let us summarize what we have studied today we have seen the creep testing and in the creep testing we need an apparatus where we need a material to be loaded under constant load also we need some constant temperature then we will see what is the strain rate of the material then we plot this strain rate against time and we have seen that the curve is plotted which is strain rate versus time where there are three stages the primary stage the secondary stage and the tertiary stage in the primary stage the slope of the strain rate versus the time goes on decreasing where the material is going through work hardening or strain hardening in the second stage the strain hardening is competing with the recovery process and in the third stage the material is going through a very high strain rate and then the material drastically fails and the most important parameter or stage is the secondary stage where the slope of the creep rate versus the time is constant thanks for watching all the best